This is worse than Sloth. He's an Iron Man, restricted to a very specific set of weapons. Banned from using anything at all recommended, I'll be attempting to defeat every boss in the game. This means getting a quest cape and grinding for some weapons that most people wouldn't care about at all. Welcome to a ridiculous journey. Adventurer enters my lair. Tell me, puny one, what weapon have you brought to defeat me? Cower in terror, Elvog, for I have brought this. Oh, uh, hmm. Are you sure, man? No one's ever brought that in here before. As sure as your head will decorate my trophy case, foul beast. Okay, well, uh, good luck, I guess. Hello off-meta enthusiasts! Coming back to you from a different agility course. Decided to get 30 this time. Uh, it's climbing up. Also got level 27 at 27 laps. I don't know if that's interesting, but I thought it was, so there it is. Today we become a Dragon Slayer. Uh, however, there are a few things in our way. Oof. Yeesh. Yeah. So to actually kill this dragon, we're gonna need more stats, better food, and more gear. We're gonna do a few quests that'll give us some nice juicy combat experience, which will get us a little bit into the next echelon of bosses, if you will. But before that, there are four more really low-level bosses that I'd like to take care of before we move on up. Those are the Temple Guardian in Priest of Peril, the Trapped Soul in the Ascent of Arceus, the Sand Snake in the Depths of Despair, and the Corrupt Lizard Man in the Tale of the Righteous. The three Karend quests require Client of Karend as a prerequisite, so we're gonna go ahead and start with that. I'm sorry, Seagull, it's not personal. I just need a feather for this quest. I've hit five zeros in a row on this Seagull. Six zeros in a row on this Seagull. Hey, Guys, Seagulls don't drop feathers. Why don't Seagulls drop feathers? What? Alright, there's a fishing shop, but you're on thin fucking eyes, Port Piscarillus. Okay, for fuck's sake, can I not get a feather in this goddamn continent? Excuse me. Alright, apparently feathers are a black market commodity, and I have to go underground into the disgusting sewers to buy a feather. I know there's also a shop in Port Sarum where I could get this, but we're in way too deep now. Hey man, what can I get you? One feather, please. Oh, okay. I hope Veos' client realizes how much work I'm putting into this. I deserve a bonus, for sure. So for this quest, we have to talk to the owners of every general store on the continent, because they are the keepers of truth and peace and justice in this world. Oh, she rhymes, no. So we're in Arceus now, and these guys have discovered the secrets of immortality. They do not die, and they could share that secret with the people that they, you know, share this continent with. But they're like, nah, they, they got this, it's fine, this is our thing. Let's just do this. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's Shazian all about? Oh, you know, battle, wounds, that kind of thing. I like the name Lovaken. Should it have a G or a J? I don't know, I'll just put them both in. Client of Karend completed. God, I've become so blind to the friggin' tile indicators. I'm sorry, I'll remember to turn them off next time. Maybe I'll, I'll really try, though. Okay, gotta find this guy's son. He's been banging the cook. The cook probably knows where he is. Nope, let me just squeeze right past you here. Hey, dude, your dad looking for you. All right, it's snake killing time. Yeah. And we have defeated Solo Mission. What do we get as a reward? The Royal Accord of Twill. Amazing. I gotta say, this is one of the better Royal Accords I've read recently. The Depths of Despair. We need 13 Hunter for the Ascent of Arceus. Uh, so we're gonna go get that. We're gonna start off with the Natural History Quiz. 
which will get us nine, I believe, and then we'll finish up at, I think it's Feldip Weasels or something like that. It'll be fine. Sweet. Nine Slayer, nine Hunter. Solid start. Yeah, gotcha, you little fuck. And that is the big 12 Hunter. Let's go to Ascent of Arceus. Hmm, so it looks like an immortal being has died. Um, and let's be honest, this is the correct option. I shouldn't get involved in this. I don't know what I'm getting into, but um, this is the option we're going to pick. Oh god, it's chaos. This can't be good. None of these guys are even attempting to fight back. I guess they're immortal, so they can't actually be hurt by these things, but I feel like it's still annoying. I, I think I would do something about it. Oh, for fuck's sake, what is this shit now? Oh, uh, hey, Dr. Jekyll. I don't have any herbs on me, but can I have a reward anyway? I've been a really good boy. Yes. All right, we had to come here anyway to talk to these blue Tazar, um, but I think it's time for a new weapon, don't you? We're going to do some spear. Ah, uh, yeah, like, great. <laughs> Let's do it. Very well, human. We will assist you in restoring the immortality of these beings. But in exchange, you must perform a task for us. Oh god, I can't imagine what this task is gonna be. It's gonna be something impossible, and I'm not gonna be able to do it, and I'm gonna have to go back on failure. We and... demand that you dispose of one level 30 enemy. Oh. Oh, he's not a bad guy. He's just doing his farm runs. Ah, I found him. Pokey pokey! That soul is now free, untra- freed! Yeah! And for restoring the immortality of a race of beings, we are awarded with 2,000 coins. That seems fair. Yep. Okay, it's time to unlock the big ol' swamp. Hey, can you kill a dog for me? I mean... I guess. Sure, you seem trustworthy. Okay, I was told I was gonna be fighting a dog, not whatever the hell this thing is. No, I don't actually know what the max hit of this thing is. I hope it's not seven. Or five. We'll never know. Oh, they're laughing. They're so happy with me. I have made some friends today. The king's gonna be so proud of me. Update, the king was not proud of me. Zamorak, that's the bad guy. Wait a second. This is for tricking me. Ha! Oh. All right, the freaking magic. Hey. And that's Priest in Peril. We can go to the swamp. Also, 16 prayer, you'll love to see it. We're gonna go ahead and start Tale of the Righteous. Hey, you wanna go to prison? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd love to. That'd be great. Whee! What the heck is old note? What is this? Do I know what this is? Oh. Well, now we have that. Wow, it's red in here. Hooray! That was a little sketchier than I expected it to be, but we got him. And that's Tale of the Righteous, which is the last quest I had on my list to complete before we make the preparations for Dragon Slayer. We are ready to get this account some more stats and gear. We are off to start Whamterfall quest, get some stats in nice and easy. This kid's kind of a dick. What if I just took the treasure he told me about and didn't tell him about it? That could be fun. Wait, wasn't that the rabbit guy in Arthur Buster Backstorian? Carry on with your war, don't mind me. Grave robbing? Cool, we escaped unscathed. Well, scathed, I guess. I ate the food and it's fine now, but you know, we lived. Hey, did you find my son? Sorry, I'm just like really busy right now. Okay, very important step. We are going to use the urn on the chalice so we don't get washed out of the cave. And with that, we have completed waterfall quest. What are our stats ending up at? 34 attack, 34 strength. Beautiful start to the training. Okay, so the next quest I want to do is going to be Holy Grail because it gives just a metric fuck ton of defense experience and that's exactly what I want right now. But there is a boss in it, the Black Knight Titan. Uh, the final damage must be dealt with Excalibur, but before that you can just kind of use whatever you want. So I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll use Magicka Range to fight him because, you know, no one ever does that. 
And there's a fucking reason. He has plus 1,000 defense in each of those stats. What? That's so much. We're not doing that. In any case, we're going to go do Merlin's Crystal since that is a prerequisite for Holy Grail. And I'll think of something else to kill him with. Sure, sure. Gotta get a wizard out of a crystal as you do. Hey, man, what are you doing back there? Just, just let me, let me be. Just leave me alone. I'm going to get in this box. Haha, -ha, after a very long voyage from just over there, we have arrived at the back door. They'll never expect this. They'd think I'll be coming through the front door, which is much easier to get to. May as well attack him. Seems like the right thing to do. Okay, he was whacking the hell out of me. And I couldn't find anything to trap him behind. We're just gonna get more food and head on back. Isn't that like our second delivery of candles in the past 10 minutes? Yeah, we, we need a lot of candles. Haha, <laughs> he's still low health. Quick cake break and we're good to go. <laughs> Spare my son, what's it worth to you? Alright, she's gonna free Merlin from a crystal as long as I don't kill her child. It's, you know, one of the trade deals of all time. Oh wow, suddenly a beggar appears. Spare me a simple loaf of bread. Oh, as it happens, I happen to have a piece of bread with me. Oh my god, it was a woman the whole time. Little light reading at an evil temple. Quick dark magic ritual before lunch. Ooh, a boon. I could have asked for so many things, but I'm still sticking with the free Merlin from the crystal. I guess I'm invested. Fine. Alright, we'll let him out. And that's Merlin's crystal, which actually awards six quest points. That's quite a few. Uh, and we get Excalibur. Hooray! And now we start the quest for the heck of a lot of defense experience. We're about to go face off against the Black Knight Titan, and this is a perfect time to whip out the Adamant Mace. Ah, thank you, the Holy Table Napkin. I will make sure I only wipe the most sacred of Slop up with it. Picking up a couple anti-poisons, we'll need them eventually, and there's some spiders here that'll be obnoxious, so, you know, good to have them. Oh, goddammit, I forgot the stupid whistles. Be right back. Okay. Whistles acquired. Let's get out of here. Hey, you remember how I said you need Excalibur for this part? Yeah, I didn't bring that either. Okay, momentary setback, but we're here with Excalibur. Let's start whacking this guy. This could be a while. This guy's a little weird in that when you're flinching him, you don't have to wait for his health bar to disappear like you would for most other enemies. He is kind of walk back and forth at the speed of your weapon, and he just doesn't hit back for whatever reason. But, you know, it makes this a little bit faster, at least. Oh, man. In the time of that fight, I could have baked a three-layer wedding cake and watched all the Lord of the Rings extended editions back to back. Whew. Hey, what type of women are you into? Oh, I don't know. Mostly Grail Maidens. Oh, it's the Fisher King. I gotta be honest, man. You're doing a bad job. Hey, man, where's Percival? Oh, I don't I don't know. Just blow on this feather. Is there anything else you can tell me? No, no, I'm really busy. Just, just do the feather thing. I wonder if there's anything in these sacks. Oh, I hear a muffled groan and the sack wriggles slightly. What if I prod it again? Okay, and again? Huh, all right. And again, you gotta get out of the sack, man. Oh, thank you for, for freeing me, but what's so urgent? There's no time to explain. Just take this whistle and go to the Fisher realm. Your dad needs you. What the Fisher, my dad, what? What is happening? I gotta say, Percival, I love what you've done with the place. I like that you moved the Black Knight Titan from that bridge. Love that the people don't have jaundice anymore. It's going really well here. Found the Holy Grail. There are some who call me Tim. There's a multi-Python reference in here somewhere, but I'll let you make it. Cool, and that's Holy Grail completed. Got some fat prayer and defense experience. Let's see where that leaves us. Let's see, 30 prayer, 32 defense. That is super solid. Uh, great. We are going to go start the last quest of this little arc, which will be Witch's House. I want to know what this witch is doing, that she just needs to paste this really long little like piece of green belt she has in her house. Like, what's endgame for you here? What are you trying to accomplish? Uh... Hello. I didn't know there was anyone in here. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna grab this ball. What? Why can't I have this ball? 
Just, just give me the ball. Oh, it's a spider now. Oh, it's it's a bear. That's different. Just gonna eat a few pastries. Uh, all right, all right, let's go. Is that it? All right. Can I take this fucking ball now? That's really all I came here for. God. Hey, kid. I, I got your ball. That was a whole thing. Okay, that's Witch's House. What does that bring us to? 29 hit points. Not too bad. So, we've got our melee stats. What comes next? Well, we need to get more money to get more gear. Also, I would like to get 33 magic, because I am not giving that son of a bitch goblin 10,000 of my dollars for his stupid map piece. That's just not happening. So what's a good place that I can get both things on at the same time? A very original spot that no Iron Man has ever considered going to? Lava Dragons. So we have enough runes for 250 casts of Earth Strike, which will not be enough, but we're going to the wilderness, might lose it all, don't really want to bring, you know, full set of runes every time. Uh, so, this is what we're going in with. Uh, the only thing we have left to do is buy a staff. Now, normally what you would do is you would buy an air staff or a fire staff, and that gives you an infinite supply of that rune. Um, however, there's this little guy, the magic staff, which does not give you an infinite supply of any runes, and is very rarely used, so obviously we have to use that. Hey, look, there was someone. All right. <clears throat> Now we're set up for a little bit. 11 magic, 12 magic, 13 magic, 14 magic, 15 magic. Holy shit, it's 16 magic. I may have just been scouted. We'll find out though. We got a finger on the trigger. Okay, that's our first dragon. What do we get? Nothing too exciting, but we will definitely pick that all up. Okay, I don't think I have enough cast to kill a second one. So we're gonna come back with more runes next time. Oh, I saw a person. Yeah, it's definitely a PK or two. Bye bye. God damn it, skeleton in the way. Can't breathe on this guy. There's too many bones. 19 magic. 20 magic. Hey, Kekos, come in and Yeah. Oh, looting bag. Oh, boy. Oh god, that was horrifying. The wind be do medic. Okay. That's another one down. Anything good? Blood runes, we take that. 24 magic. Mein Gott, das ist 25 magic. Scold guy logged in and logged out. So uh we're gonna be careful. That's what we're gonna be. Hey, thanks, Rick Turpentine. <laughs> thanks for the spin troll and uh Level 42 wilderness. <laughs> Appreciate that, brother. And that's another one down. What do we get? <gasps> Onyx bolt tips. Yes, that's awesome. Not as good as if I wasn't an Iron Man, but still good. 26 magic. <laughs> You're just kind of running back. Oh. Well, that's a PK for sure. <laughs> okay, wilderness is popping today. I don't know what's going on. Uh, it's middle of the day on a weekday, but you know, it is what it is. So I think we'll come back here another time, but honestly, it's just kind of exhausting hop through all the worlds because there's just a PK everywhere and half the dragons have already been tagged by another Iron Man who had to, you know, hop worlds because of PKs. So, uh, yeah, it's just not working out too hot. So we are going to train magic somewhere else and we will get some money through fletching. Okay, I came over to Turiel to start getting a little bit of Slayer XP while we train magic because we will need Slayer in the future. Uh, the near future, because I'll need 40-something for a certain item I would like to use. So, bears. Very exciting. We are out of fire runes, and we are out of money. This is not my entire cash stack, but it is close. Uh, so, we are going to go do an easy and a beginner clue. See if we get anything from that. Otherwise, we'll do a little bit of fletching. I'm sure I have some stuff in my bank I can sell off, and uh, we'll go back to magic training. I can't actually do the beginner yet, because Charlie needs a trout, and I have 11 fishing. Uh, but we're going to get fishing soon enough anyway, so I'll keep it for now. Hang on to it, and uh, we'll do it when we are ready. Ooh, easy casket. Just a two-step clue. All right. Something, maybe? Black plate legs. You know, 
That is an amount of coins. Cool. Sold some stuff in the bank. Got back up to 10.7k. Gonna get some more fire runes, and we're gonna go back to the uh, Relentless Bear Slaughter. 32 magic, just one to go, and 32 hit points, and look at all those level up messages in the chat. That is just dopamine. And the bear slaughter is over. Let's see what Tyriel wants me to kill next. Gotta kill some Skellingtons. And there we have it, 33 magic telekinetic grab unlocked. I'm very happy. Let's get out of here. I would like 32,000 gold, which is 31,500 gold more than I have at the moment. So to get that, I will be cutting down some willow trees, flushing them into longbows, and selling them off. Hopefully this doesn't take too long, uh, but I'll see you back with uh, 32,000 gold. And we're back. Look at that. A little over 35k. Decided to just keep going until I was done working out anyway, so, you know, may as well. Got this nice stack. Gonna go get some stuff. Also, I got a bird's nest. What do we get? Papaya tree. Eh, not bad. We'll take it. Cool. Uh, let's get some gear. And then we'll talk about the final step of our preparations. First item on my list is this adamant plate body. We're gonna go ahead and snag that. Hello, Mr. Louie Legs. Man, thankfully you're a plate leg salesman, otherwise that name would be really uncomfortable. Adamant legs for us. Let's slam those on. And finally, let's pick up the adamant full helm. It's okay to be attracted to this man. So we are kitted out. We've got our melee stats. We've got 33 magic. We are almost set for Dragon Slayer. The last thing I would like to do is get better food. So I am going to head over to the Shrimp and Parrot, which is a pub, oh by a pub in Brimhaven. Uh, there they sell lobster and swordfish and karambuan, and that is also the starting place for the quest Tribal Totem, which I'll be doing. It'll take about three minutes, and I will get five swordfish as a reward, and I might be the first person in history to actually enjoy that reward. Because uh, we can take a little bit extra food for free in Delvarg. So we're going to go do that, and we will be right back. Long story short, this guy stole a totem from some guys in Karamja, and he is keeping it in his house, which is under strict lock and key, so we're gonna switch a label onto a box to get teleported inside. It's fine. We'll take care of it. Yeah, this guy's a monkey pit. Quick, you gotta deliver this crate! Why? I, I, I don't, um, I, uh, ooh, uh, shit, uh, wahoo! This belongs in a museum! Hooray, that's tribal totem. Cool, filled the rest of my inventory up with some lobsters, and now we can go continue Dragon Slayer. Heading down to Cambridge and talking to the Duke, he's gonna give us a big orange shield, and it's gonna stop us from being burnt right to a crisp. Cool, big orange shield acquired. More like Dork Horatio. <laughs> Got him. So the next part of this quest involves finding three map pieces. We'll need to combine them to even find the island of Crandor. Uh, but spoiler alert, it is right there. Like, within viewing distance from Brimhaven and Entrana and probably Remington, but you know, it's fine. No one knows where it is. Three wizards split the map and they each hit a piece away, and we're gonna start with Thalzar's map piece. First, a drink used by a mage. Next, some worm string, chains to sheet. Then, a small crustacean cage. Last, a bowl that's not seen heat. Yeah. Um, is there anyone else I can talk to? The four items we needed were an unfired bowl, a piece of silk, a wizard's mind bomb, and a lobster pot. Or, as I like to call it, four unrelated items that were just put there to fit a rhyme. Now we just gotta shove them as hard as we can into this door and hopefully it'll open. And that is Thalzar's map piece obtained. The next piece we'll be getting is Melzar's piece, who lives in a maze, and I went to the wrong side of the building. But, he lives in here, and we're gonna kill him and take his stuff. We have made it through the maze, and we are ready to attack Melzar the Mad. He's a bit of a strange man, so I think the best thing to do is just kill him. Okay, we killed this crazy wizard man. Let's get through the door, and he is actually not the most difficult enemy here, because we have the small demon. But I think I can just flinch him. So I don't think I actually need to flinch him. I'm just fighting him, and I'll go back here when I need to eat. That's about it. Okay. Demon boy down. Give me the key. I'll scatter your ashes for 25 experience. Not bad, actually. We're gonna search this crate. It's the wrong thing to search. Be oh, it's that chest, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is Melzar's map piece obtained. The final map piece is Lozar's map piece. And to be honest, I'm not sure what happened to him, but somehow his map piece is now in the possession of a goblin in jail. So we have two options here. 
The first option is to give him 10,000 coins. A, I don't have that, and B, no. So our other option, it, the one we're gonna do, is to kill him and telegraph the piece from inside the cell. So on our way to go murder a prisoner, he's about to learn a very strong lesson about being greedy. You shouldn't do it. Well, I guess we didn't commit murder, so that's good at least, but uh, just theft, I guess? Oh wow, 2,000 gold for a whole ship and a human person? That's just too good a deal, I cannot pass this up. We are just about ready to go take on the fearsome dragon of Crandor. But there's one thing left that we haven't discussed. What weapon will I be using to kill Elvarg? We'll be using the mighty sword Excalibur to slay Elvarg. Haha! -ha! Hey Ned, worse than slot, nice to meet you. Listen, would you be interested in captaining a ship on a voyage to a lost island inhabited by a dragon that's so fearsome that every single person in the world I've talked to about it has warned me not to fuck with it? And here we go. Oh, that's, that can't be, I just fixed this thing. Elvarg, oh my god. I, I, I just bought that man. Oh my god, Elvarg. Okay, I'm fine. Uh... You think Ned's okay? Should we check on him? Oh yeah, he's fine. Cool. Okay, we're in a relatively safe spot here. We're gonna pot up. I mean, cake up and then pot up. And we can't forget the most important part. For Camelot! Ow, thank you. Great start. Alright, I think I have her set up for a little bit of flinching here, uh, cause we're gonna run out of food otherwise, and, you know... We've gotten her down to her last bit of health. To finish this fight off, we're gonna hit her with one last... FOR CAMELOT! Strength bot up. Let's get her. We just need one hit. Oh god. Yes. That is a dragon down. Now let's rip off that head. Oh my god, just pulled it off. No incision needed. Hey, Oziak, want some head? Dragon Slayer 1 completed. Beautiful amount of strength to defense XP. We can equip a room plate body, which uh, we can, you know, definitely afford. But that is huge. Uh, no, we're not gonna do that now. But 40 strength, 39 defense, it's looking good. And with that, the main goal for this episode is complete. So, uh, we just wanted to give a brief update on what's happening in, uh, well, me land. I was unfortunately affected by the latest round of tech layoffs. Um, so I guess I'm doing content creation full time while I look for a new job. So I'm going to try to upload weekly. Uh, might try streaming on Twitch if anyone's interested, let me know. But yeah, other than that, just wanted to say that, yeah, all the, the kind words and support have meant a ton. It's super awesome to see how many people are enjoying the series. I'm definitely enjoying it. But yeah, next episode, we will be getting overhead prayers, which will open up a whole new world of bosses for us. See you next week.